you can see, heroin is still a big problem in our area. With well-known treatments still allowing some to relapse, one local mother is trying to get the word out about a newer drug. New at 6, NBC 15's Lindsay Branwall joins us with her story. Yeah, this medicine is called Vivitrol. It's not a treatment that feeds the body opioids like Suboxone and Methadone. As this mother says, it keeps people clean and helps them get better. Craig's heroin addiction. A few years ago, we introduced you to Craig Beagie's story. Heroin is killing more and more Wisconsin kids. And more and more often, they are from the suburbs, like Craig. After heroin took Craig's life, his mom, Carol, wanted to do something to honor his memory. And I met up with uh, Detective Rorkvet, and we started doing programs for um, the kids at the high schools. In her efforts to educate people about heroin addiction, she found Vivitrol. So you have a, a clean chance to get well. It's a shot given once a month and it completely blocks brain receptors, eliminating cravings and physically preventing a high. Recovering addicts have no reason and no drive to get high on Vivitrol, but what could be its best asset can also be its downfall. Take James, for example, who was using Vivitrol last year. I'm trying to get my life back together. Before the one year treatment period ended, James thought he could stay sober without the shot. We're told he relapsed, overdosed, and died. But Carol believes Vivitrol will make the difference. All these addicts need to do is stick with it. It works, and, and to me, the only way it won't work is if you go off of it. Madison detective Julie Rorfett says the program has had success at local jails. But a lot of them did follow through with it, so they were very happy with the results. Carol wants the drug to be the option before rehab and other treatments, even though many insurance companies don't cover it. When you compare it to what you spend for a far longer period of time on Suboxone and Methadone or just going to rehab for a few months. Carol believes it would have saved her son. Every single time I hear about an overdose resulting in death, it just tears me up because that didn't need to be. And it's horrendous thinking that that family is now going through what I'm going through. A few important things we should mention about Vivitrol. Rock, doctors recommend a one-year period of use, but counseling and support system is crucial for making a full recovery. Carol says, though, that each shot can be between $800 to $1,600.